Palace School Stadium. It's another warm day in Guadalajara as we await the first ever World Cup meeting of Brazil and Algeria. Again, it's that special kind of atmosphere that always attends a Brazil World Cup game. And over the years, those Brazilian fans have had an awful lot to enthuse over. Brazil said the only country to play in every World Cup finals and they've lost only 10 games in 56 years and only five of their last 41 games stretching back to 1958. Unchanged from the side that defeated Spain last Sunday but Algeria make four changes. The regular goalkeeper surprisingly omitted against Northern Ireland is back, that's Dreed. They've left, left out the big centre-back Carici who took on Hamilton and Whiteside in that game and Magheria, a smaller man but swifter, is in. Bellamy starts the game and Menad is in for Zidania, the man who scored the game against Northern Ireland. And our panellist abroad, Ray Tracy, looks at the chances of the match. Just like the uh, panel back in the studio, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing Brazil again. Certainly so far, football-wise, entertainment-wise, they've been the best value for money. I've got to fancy them very, very strongly. I feel that the, art, the Algerians will not be good enough, uh, and I'm looking forward to Socrates putting on another performance like he did uh, last week against Spain. 14 of this Algerian squad, when polled as to who they thought would win the World Cup, voted Brazil to win it. So you wonder if they go for that, it's honesty on the one part, but for them, what can their attitude be facing Brazil? Now, the news isn't good for those who love football and like to see great footballers. Zico, who was a sub against Spain, is not even on the bench today. The Brazilian medical team issued a bulletin only an hour ago that ruled him out of today's game. They say his left knee would not stand up to even part of a game and we may not see him at all in this World Cup. We're looking there at Elzo, anchorman at the midfield. Socrates. Socrates, goal scorer against Spain. The referee today is Molino Mendez from Guatemala, a physical education teacher, 47-year-old, speaks Spanish and English and has been a FIFA badge man for 11 years now. On the line, he is Quinon of France and Martinez from Uruguay. So Algeria to kick off. Are they in awe of the Brazilian reputation rather than the current Brazilian team? Away they go then. Number seven, Assad. Looks so promising for a time against Northern Ireland. And here's a fellow who did a bit of kicking in that match, Ben Mabrook. Mansouri, the left back. Macaria. Junior, Edson, Careca. <laughs> Look at that for a sandwich. Most unusual one. Assad, Ben Mabrook, Socrates. Good challenge there by Gendus, the sweeper. Number two is Edson. In goes the header. Socrates again looking for his second goal of the tournament. Corner kick to Brazil, and Junior will take it. Elzo. He's running out of room here. Assad. 
Bellamy. And it was Bellamy's little swift transfer there that gave the Algerian defence the breathing space. This is Cassie Saeed. Ben Mabrook. Mansouri, the left back, wearing 16. Bellamy. Cassie Saeed. Magaria, new boy today. Gendus, skipper. Major. This is Bellamy. Look at the space he's found. Major on the run. He fell too soon. He was anticipating a challenge and penalty must have been running through his mind. Or are we doing him an injustice? But a good break and again Bellamy at the centre of it for Algeria. Julio Cesar. Alamont. Assad with Edson. Here's Elzo. Casagrande, the big man. Waits for Alamont to make a right wing for him. Good piece of quick defending by Cassie Saeed. Edson, Junior. Well, they weren't too confident of Dred making it. And it's another corner kick to Brazil. And again, Junior will take it. Edino, the skipper, has come forward. France not even playing. So here's Junior. What a marvellous season he had in Italy with Torino. Socrates is at the back post. Well claimed by Dreit. In this is 24th International. This is Maggio. Looks for Menad. Junior. Alamon. Edino. Who with Julio Cesar played well against Spain on Sunday last. Socrates, the man who scored the goal that won that game. Alamon to Edson. Alamon, Socrates, and he just glides into those positions, an ambling sort of style, he doesn't appear to have a threat, but now he appears to have an injured shoulder. Got a knock, they may remember, on the same shoulder last week. It wasn't the severity of the tackle, it was the angle of the fall. And it looks bad for Brazil. It looks bad for Brazil. But if he has to go, think of the substitution they can make. Falcao is on the touchline on the bench but he stays on it for the moment anyway until they get a report six minutes gone and Socrates has been stretched off but is not as yet out of the game so Brazil will play with ten for the moment and they don't even have a sub stretching up Bellamy oh what a lot Tight ball to leave Ben Mabrook. Robbed by Casagrande. 
And didn't Benbrook do very well to recover it? Mansouri, Ben Mabrook, Bellamy, Minard, breaking on the right, Majadi and Majer, Cassie Saeed, now it's Majer, Cassie Saeed behind them, Square Bellamy, now Menard. nice play here by Algeria, Ben Mabrook, Assad, shooting chance, closed down by Edson. Menard, Cassie Said, Mansouri, leaves it for Assad, the number seven. And Socrates, you'd be glad to know it's up, but here's Assad! Socrates has got off the stretcher, made his way around the touchline, and is ready to report for duty. Edson, the right back, meantime is injured other side. Edson from the Corinthians Club in Sao Paulo, playing his 36th international game today, played extremely well against Spain. He times his tackle superbly and he's good coming forward. This time, Falcao is warming up. It's another very warm day here in Guadalajara. About 90 degrees Fahrenheit as they kicked off. Junior for Brazil, Alamon. Back down to 10 men again, but Socrates is back. This is Branco. into trouble by Kareka. And here's Assad. Menad the centre forward. Offside. But a much more positive start by Algeria. Yes, Jim. Algeria have been far better in the first few minutes than they were against Northern Ireland. They seem to have lifted the game right from the very start as opposed to the Northern Ireland game. Uh, it's been broken up a couple of times by the injuries, so the Brazilians haven't got flowing yet. They'll try again with Junior. Adinho. Branco. Junior. Branco. Two in the middle. Careca and Casagrande. Can't winkle out across. And Edson is still off the field and doesn't look too good. Edino. Casagrande. Nigeria. But I think Brazil have decided, their medical team have decided that Edson is injured for this game beyond repair. And Falcao comes in to the Brazilian side. To take his 36th international cap and Alamon will go to right back the number 15 will play right back Edson is off here's Adino Careca Gendus to Mansouri there he is Roberto Paul Falcon Assad, Cassie Said, eleven minutes gone, but up to now has been totally concentration on football. Careca, Socrates, Majadi. 
took him down and here's the chance for Brazil now Goalkeeper Dreit trying to organise it. They have six or seven men there. Junior is at the ball. So is Socrates. Falcao is just square of the ball. Junior. Good strike. Casagrande. Carreta. Well, they've tried that a few times on the practice ground. Tremendous velocity in the shot. Casagrande couldn't get a strike. Neither could Careca. Goalkeeper terribly annoyed with his, with his wall. But he did well because there was some sting in the shot. Twelve minutes gone and he still shakes his head, does Dreed. Nasseradini Dreed. Edino, Socrates. Junior slides back to win it. Now Falco. Alamon. Casagrande. Means big house and he's a big man. Well played, Kasi Saeed, Assad. Assad. Falcao short of piss. And it was Julio Cesar who came across. Now it's Socrates. For Junior, getting by Gendus. Carrick has come near post, Casagrande far post. And Junior wins the opportunity. In possession, Magyar. Mansuri. Assad. Six of the starting team today play in European football. Five in France. Here's one of them, Assad. Alamon's interception. Junior. Branco. Careca. Waits for Branco. Two in the middle. Socrates is one of them. But nicely away. Good game. Good accuracy. Good pace. Assad. Majer. Cassie Saeed to Ben Mabrook. Mansouri. Bellumi. Not quite fit, 100%, but still a composing player. Here's Majer. Brazilian captain Edino. Doubtful before the game, had a stomach upset for the last couple of days. Montezuma's revenge, I believe. But has passed himself fit. Mansuri to Assad. Here's Majadi, the right back. A lot of pace on that ball for him. Falcao. Socrates. Edino. Overhitting Junior. Goal kick Algeria. 
a ray tracy comment uh, the Brazilians are still playing. They're, they're, they've reorganized themselves now with Falcao coming on. Uh, the Algerians at the back look very, very weak to me, particularly at right back. Uh, he's leaving so much space behind him. I'm sure the, it's only a matter of time before the Brazilians get in and hurt them. Here he is then, Majadi, the right back, who made his debut against the Republic of Ireland four seasons ago. Julio Cesar to Alamon. Nobody showing for him up front. Delayed for a moment for Casa Grande to get back on side, and that he's done. Here's Falcao. Franco has moved to a wide outside left position. Junior, lovely little chip, Socrates. Here now is Franco. Gone out of play, throw in Algeria. But the ease with which, with which Socrates just slides through the game. Three brilliantly experienced men in the midfield now for Brazil. There's Falcao in his 36th international. There's Junior in his 67th. And there's Socrates in his 54th. And between them, an average age of 33 years. Look at the pace of Assad and the lack of it from Falcao. Alamon got back though. Julio Cesar. Elzo. Caught after he played the ball by Ben Mabrook. Now Junior. Elzo to Branco. Alamon, the midfielder, who has to play it right back because of the injury to Edson. Here he is again. Ekes out across. Cut out by Mansouri. Back to Alamon. Now Junior. Pulled by the shirt by Ben Mabrook. And I think the Algerian got away with quite a deal, this particular player against Northern Ireland. Junior. Up goes Casagrande. In the air with him, Macaria. Edinho, Falcao. It needed but the merest touch. Carreca and Casagrande were at the back post. Just watch it. Any bootless would have knocked it in. Gendus. Cassis Ben Mabrook. Knocked off it by Falcao. Here's Careca. Falcao with Mansouri. This is Algeria's fifth game, of course, in World Cup finals, and they've lost only one of them. Menad. Three of those games, of course, in 1982 and two this year. Socrates. Showed a bit much of it to Cassie Said. Menad to Bellumi. Majadi. Bellumi. Majer, Majadi, Majer, stopped his toe then.
Elzo Junior Kareka Junior Ben Mabrook's challenge and Algeria come away with Assad looking for Magia beautiful ball diagonally right across the field interception by Adino Falcao Socrates Casagrande Falcao Edino Franco Five is Falcao Edino Quarter way through the game, Brazil nil, Algeria nil. But the only man forward, if that signal is a long one, is Manad, the centre forward, and it's aimed at him. Beaten by Adino. Manad gets it to Majer. Ben Mabrook. Cut out by Alamon. Casagrande. Alamon again. Casagrande. Alamon. Lovely play by the emergency right back. And he spoiled it all with the cross. Up goes Branco. Beaten in the air by Maggio. Elzo. Nad trying to get it through to Madger, and here's Socrates. Careca. Angling for the shooting chance, it comes to Socrates. Good block. Magaria, the centre back, the number 20. What an easy game for Molino Melendez, the referee from Guatemala. Both sides intent on playing the game within the laws. Elzo to Socrates. Edino. Julio Cesar. Elzo. Falcao. So, hands against Magharia. Again, the last free kick caused a spot of other for the Algeria defence. The wall let the keeper down, I think. This one's a long way out. I'd say just about halfway inside the Algerian half. Junior, Socrates and Falcao are at the ball. The three elder statesmen. Socrates pulls it wide for Alamon. Questions about Assad there, not picking up the full back coming through. Here's Bellumi. Magier. Assad. 20 minutes to half time, still scoreless. Bellamy, lovely kill to Magier. Assad couldn't reach it. And Alamon plays junior. Socrates. Junior. Casagrande. Careca. Casagrande. Careca. Casagrande. And a good piece of defensive play again by the man who did not play against Northern Ireland, Magaria. Bellamy. Menard. 
Nadja. Bellamy is pulled wide away left of the penalty area and was not picked up. But it's unnecessary now because here's Elzo. Socrates to Junior. Junior again. Here's Caraca. Caraca with the chance. 25 year old from Sao Paulo. Junior was the playmaker. Careca could not supply the accuracy. Alamon. Out of play. And you've got to ask if Algeria played with this conviction against Northern Ireland, would that have been a different result? I think that I think it would be. The Algerians are playing very, very well. Uh, Baloumi seems to be doing a hell of a job for them in the midfield. Uh, he's really starting to run the show. And Assad, as we saw against Northern Ireland, is a very good player. He's causing problems for the Brazilians. Assad. And all the media talk about rough play, this game has now gone 28 minutes and there have been five, four free kicks in the whole game. And one of those was for offside. Elzo, Falcao, Junior, Socrates, Falcao, as Assad away. Julio says, oh, the big man at centre back who makes stuffing look easy. Elzo to Falcao, Socrates, Falcao. Junior, no overlapping right back from this time and Falcao's got to make the wit. Well work corner kick by Falcao. Third corner for the Brazilians. Coming up to the half hour gone, no goals in the match. Junior, flick on by Carreca. And that's a smart save by Dredd. Because all of the threats seem to be coming on his right-hand side from the big man. And that was a very smart save indeed. Falcao with Bellamy. Branco to Alamon. Careca. Casagrande. Junior. Nadjer that with Branco. Tackle was hard and it's Nadjer who's done. Nadjer from the Porto Club in Portugal. Twice voted Algeria's number one athlete. And the referee unimpressed, so Algeria will get along with the ten men for the moment. Falcao. Careca. Alamon, who's been very impressive at right back. And remember, he's a regular midfielder. Franco. Junior. In goes Casagrande. Big Casagrande, the man who got half of Brazilian's goals in their qualifying three out of six and two and a half games. That was a chance. The 
bad ball to play to Manzurians. Played them right into trouble with Careca. Looking for Casagrande. And a very good piece of goal for Madrid. And it's in. Junior, but no goal. No goal. It was Carreca's cross, the head of Ancasaga, a brilliant save on the double by Dred, and a foul was given there as Junior pushed it away. Well, I think the referee was just a little benevolent there. But the keeper is injured, and he was brave. That was a very good double save. It was indeed. It was a hell of a good header. He headed it down. Look at his position now, and he goes, makes the save, in comes Casagrande. Keeper was very brave. But for my money, that was a goal because I don't think Casagrande fouled the goalkeeper. It was two, two very good stops, but I think the goal should have stood. And perhaps if you're a Brazilian supporter, it's only balanced out by the one that went over the line for Spain last Sunday and didn't come. He's done very well as Dredd, who couldn't get his place against Northern Ireland. And here he is with number 20, who also couldn't get his place. And between them, they've played very well today. But is it only a matter of time before this incessant samba beat in the crowd converts to rhythm on the field for Brazil and they get in that chance? Still, nil-nil. Falco, handball. The game has been on for 34 minutes and that, I believe, is the first free kick for Algeria. Congratulations, Brazil. Julio Cesar is fouled by Assad. Here's Alamon to Branco, who had a very good game against Spain and has caused a lot of problems to the man who's opposing him at right back for Algeria, right down that left touchline. Indeed, most of Algeria's problems are being created in that area. Whilst Alamon, the number 15, has done well at right back, I think it's fair to say that his pace and work rate is being missed at midfield where despite all the skill of Socrates Jr. and Falcao, they're hardly Carl Lewis's anymore. Falcao proving the point just then. Menard, Bellumi. Alamon. Junior. Casagrande waits for Branco to give him width on the left that's been covered off ten minutes to the half time break and steaming hot Guadalajara Algeria nil Brazil nil here's Menad Bellumi And a dreadful 1975, twice had leg breaks. Bellumi, one very controversial one in Libya that brought a protest to the African Confederation. That was in a club match. And it's why he didn't start against Northern Ireland. That's why they thought they'd try him against Brazil because the Algerians felt Brazil would play football. And the evidence of the free kicks won in 36 minutes proves that. Ajadi the right back. Socrates does not give chase. Ajadi through. Bellumi again. 
and Socrates did not chase back and because he didn't it created the extra man for Algeria it's not quite weather for chasing though for a 33 year old Midfield, Brazil have the skill, but they certainly have no pace, not at the moment. They're relying totally on uh, the three men, are relying totally on artistry. They don't have the running power, particularly Falcao. Uh, Socrates glides forward, Junior is busy, but they're relying more than anything else on their own artistry. Here's one of them, Junior, Casagrande. Free kick to Brazil. Five is Falca. Dino bending over the ball, the captain. Didn't come here as captain. Oscar is the captain, but he's only on the bench today. Is this a bit of an optimistic distance for them? Big Julio says, oh! Off the crossbar! What a shot! And down goes Branco from the tackle of Cassie Saeed. Branco is the injured player. A free kick of tremendous power by Julio Cesar. And Dredd knew nothing about that one. Nothing. Junior with the free kick. Aimed at Casagrande. A very good piece of fielding by Drake. One of the first half stars, the Algerian goalkeeper. Majer to Bellamy. Or not to Bellamy, because here's Hak Kareka. Interception Majadi. Cassie Saeed. Menad. Bellamy. Nadja. Signals got mixed up then. Here's Alamon. Falco. Branco breaks left. Casagrande, Carreca, Socrates are forward. Branco to Elzo. Junior. Way by Magaria. Menad to Assad. Faced by Falco. Assad again. Hard luck, Majer. He did very well to try and control a ball that was hit with velocity. Did extremely well, but in the end, a Brazil ball. Falcao to Alamon. Chant is for Brazil. They bring the entire game into the Algerian half. Careca. Here's the big man, Casagrande, and it's a corner kick. Julio Cesar will stay behind with Elzo and the keeper and everybody else will go forward. Four minutes to the halftime break. Junior's corner. Misfires. Menad. Assad. Alamon. The tackle was made by Falco. Here's Junior. Careca, can he get into the back post because Casagrande is on mark then. Now Ben Mabruk. 
Kasi Saeed. Maja. Menard. Maja. And Branco for Brazil. Socrates. He's had a little rest now. Haven't seen him in the game for the last five, six minutes. Falcao. Edinho. Socrates. Tired looking pass. Madrid to Maggio, Menard, Majadi, the right back of Algeria. Brazil have conceded that midfield space. Ben Mabrook, Assad, Menard jumping. The best jump of all was by Branco. Elzo. Brazil are getting either tired or careless or both. Majadi, Algeria. Well, a couple of minutes to the half-time break, and Brazil have lost the rhythm, which is more than can be said for their fans. <laughs> the fans have kept their rhythm up. Brazil, the one thing that's let Brazil down is the thing they did marvellously well against Spain, and that was passing. The passing today is off. But I still feel, that the feeling I get is that if they get one goal, that it could open the way for a lot more goals to come. Because the goalkeeper has done remarkably well. Let's see if he can do it again. Careca looks, searches out Casagrande. Behind Casagrande is Branco. Socrates has moved forward as well. But it's over hit. And as Ray Tracy says, the goalkeeper has done extremely well. There was only one shot he really knew nothing about, and that was the free kick from Julio Cesar. And we're in the last minute of the first half, and Algeria can go in at the break, saying how well they've done against the favourites in this Group D. Assad, look at the pace again, and he's caused a lot of problems. If only someone would come close to him so he could play a little one-two, Brazil could be on the rack there at the back. But they're all solo bursts from our side. Careca. Branco. Half a minute to half time. But this big man is very comfortable at the back. One of the most accomplished central defenders in the World Cup, Julio Cesar. Branco. Elzo Falcao Alamon Challenge was by Ben Mabrook Now it's Falcao thinking about his shot Too far out Junior Kereka And a corner to Brazil Right on the death of the first half Junior takes, up goes Tread, challenged by Adino. And there was no foul either. And it is half time in the Alisco Stadium. A first half in which Tread, the goalkeeper of Algeria, did splendidly well with the double save. We had the correct header that was saved as well. And then we had the goal that wasn't, or the ball in the net that wasn't the goal. And then the free kick off the bar. A good first half, an enjoyable first half in 90 degrees of heat. We shall be back. Yes, welcome back to the Jalisco Stadium in Guadalajara. As Liam says, lovely pictures. The Samba rhythm has been beating incessantly for two hours before the game. Ray Tracy hasn't been going with the Samba beat, but he has been listening to the panel from Dublin. And would you believe, I think he generally agrees. Yeah, amazingly enough, I have to come uh, four or five thousand miles away to agree with Eamon. But uh, in general, the summing up of the first half was correct. Uh, one or two points that I'd make is 
The Samba beat is going on here. Basically, uh, Guadalajara is a home game for Brazil. They've done their homework well. They were down here two months ago passing out shirts, uh, flags to the kids, and it's a Brazilian town for, for the next month. So it amazed me at half time, and it shows the esteem under which they're held, that they were actually booed off the park because they failed to score. Um, I, one area where I would disagree with Eamon is that in the first 45 minutes, and I know we have the, uh, the bonus of seeing the full game, the full field, uh, the, the Algerians really haven't threatened to score. Uh, they've played well, they've played ever so well up to the 18-yard box, but then everything has fizzled out. Assad, the, the player most likely to score, he's done well, again, only as far as the 18-yard box. I'd like to see a little bit more into the into the penalty area and to take some chances but i do believe had they played like this against northern ireland northern ireland couldn't have withheld now we've got calls about that shadow in the center circle i've been waiting for an opportunity to explain that overhead way high overhead here in the aliska stadium there is a multi-tannoy pa system and that is simply the shadow of that so I hope that explains it. As Brazil prepare to kick off the second half. <laughs> Junior. Major. Cassie Saeed. Assad. Ben Mabrook just on his left. Major. Menad. Majadi. Goal kick. On the subs bench, Brazil have got a defender, a central defender, Oscar. They've got a forward, Muller, two forwards, Muller and Edivaldo, and a goalkeeper. So not much choice really for them as far as midfield creation replacement is concerned. This is Magier, injured in that clash of heads with Mal Donaghy, but obviously all right today. Bellamy. Algeria have a man down injured as they build with Assad. And Cassie Saeed been attended free of charge by the doctor from Brazil, Socrates. Man of great quality, Socrates on and off the playing field. So it looks as though they're calling for the stretcher for Cassie Saeed. He's been a very good player, I thought, against Northern Ireland and has anchored the midfield well here again today. But remember that the man who's attending to him there, or was, Socrates, was also carried off in the stretcher. Indeed, such as the heat here that a lot of people would fancy been carried around on some sort of chair or sedan. Well, as you can see, Cassie Saeed is okay. And in the spirit of the thing, Brazil play the ball straight back to Algeria. One of the first half heroes. My Korea. And Dreed again. Here's big Julio Cesar. He gets up there, suspends himself in the air, has a look around. What a confident boy he is. And this is only his fourth international. Elzo.
The one aspect of Brazilian play that you just take for granted is passing accuracy. And it's the one thing that has been less than 100% of this match. Maikaria, Nadja, Branco, Falco, Branco again, and now they're caught. There's no cover along this right touch line. Edino has to come in there. If somebody fills in his face in the middle, there could be problems. Handball, free kick, Algeria. Menad. Been allowed, carry it! And it was Maggio, it's in! Bellumi at the far post with the chance and a lucky save by Carlos. Brazil were on the brink of being in arrears, there's no doubt about that, but I don't know how much Carlos knew about it. Junior to Elzo. Falco. Junior. Ben Mabrook. Bellamy. Cassie Saeed. Here's Madja. This big crowd on the Jalisco started virtually all for Brazil. But there's certainly a hefty percentage of them chanting for Algeria now. Perhaps they're just football supporters. Bellamy to Assad. Menard, Assad. Again with Julio Cesar, this magnificent centre half. Casagrande, Carlos. And the back pass has been jeered. In fairness to Brazil, they don't play it too often. Alamon, Junior, Julio Cesar. Falcao. Edino, the captain. Falcao. There's the one-two with Casagrande. It seemed to bubble on him. 16 years ago, Brazil in this stadium thrilled the crowds. 15 superb goals in five games. And the days of Pelé and Rivellino and Gersinho and Tastão. And I think the crowd think that Brazil 86 is going to be something similar. Well, on the evidence thus far of 51 minutes football, that's not to be. Here's Casagrande. Foul's been given against Ben Mabrook. Seventeen is Branco. Five, Falcon. Eight, Casagrande. Edino. Alamon. Junior's pulled wide. Square inside Elzo. Edino. That's a no-chance ball for Socrates. Poor ball from the skipper. And at these conditions, passing accuracy has to be a priority. Cassie Said. Majadi. Majer. Good challenge by Alzo. Casagrande. Socrates forward. For once, his first touch let him down. The footballing doctor and the fleeting chances disappeared. Counter-attack Algeria. Assad. Bellumi. Assad. Gets it back. Covered by Alamon. And Alamon did very well. And a free kick to Brazil. And Alamon, we admired on Sunday as a midfielder, we're admiring today as a fullback. 
He's done very well for them, Jim, but, you know, his, his running power has been missed in the middle of the park. Uh, there's no two ways about it. The three lads need somebody like him in there with them. Young legs required, but Brazil don't have them on the bench either. Not a midfielder anyway. They have Müller there. They can bring in as a forward. Here's Falcon. Mansouri to Assad to Bellamy. Menad's brought Julio Cesar out to the right. Good play here, Algeria. But the final pass let them down, and it was Elzo who came across to deny Bellamy. Lovely piece of play off the ball by Menad, the number nine, who took the centre back away, made the space. And if only the cross had been accurate, Brazil could have been in trouble. Careca, Socrates, Casagrande, Cassi Said, Menard, Assad, Bellamy to Mansouri, Assad, Mansouri. Madja, Bellamy, and it's Algeria who are looking for a moment there like the canary yellow of Brazil. They start it again. Ben Mabrook, wide on the right is Majadi. And a promising move dies with the right back. Elzo to Socrates. Socrates to Junior. There's a gap. There's a chance. It's closed down and closed down well by the sweeper Gendus. Socrates. Alamon. Casagrande's move back post. Up he goes. Reaches Careca. Just over the angle. The best Brazilian move for a long time. And Brazil are getting ready, Müller. Casagrande is cutting no ice in there. Here's Majadi. Ben Mabrook to Assad, trying his luck on the right side. Breaking away, way on the left was Cassie Said. Here's Assad to Menad. And Alamon to Carlos. Junior. Branco. Casagrande behind him. That was Falcao, couldn't kill it. Twelve minutes gone in the second half in the Jalisco Stadium in Guadalajara. Brazil nil, Algeria nil. And a game that's been a credit to the two sides for their behaviour and their adherence to the laws of association football. Here's Junior to Alamon. And this trade with the adhesive gloves has really been a star for Algeria. Major. Bellume. Ben Mabrook, the first ever World Cup meeting of Brazil and Algeria. Adino looks for his keeper for a moment. It looked as though that might have flighted over his head. Müller is getting ready to come in then to the Brazilian side. He came in and exploded on Sunday against Spain. 
Casa Grande, he was replaced then, and it wouldn't surprise me if he went again. Here's Careca. Waits for Alamon to move forward. That's Macaria's header away. Now Elzo to Branco. And a foul by Majadi. And the linesman is signaling to the referee. In fact, both linesmen, one taking the tic-tac from the other, to say that Brazil want to make their substitution. Would you believe the referee has seen neither of them? He has now. Yes, Muller is in for Walter Casagrande. Same act of substitution as Sunday last. Junior's free kick. The header was from Socrates. And so, after 14 minutes of the second half, no goals. Muller looked good when he came in on Sunday. He's fresh, he's inventive, and he goes forward. He's going to need to be fresh and inventive to pick the Brazilian team up at the moment. They really have died the death. And you can see the Algerians gaining in confidence. There's one quick just note I've written down here are the Brazilians too nice to play against everybody enjoys playing against the Brazilians um, I I would say maybe they are too nice I don't think anybody would enjoy playing against the likes of Uruguay or Italy teams like that Ray Tracy making the point that, that Brazil just refused to make fouls they may be going for a world record of uh, free kicks conceded in this whole match amazing only one in the whole first half and two in the second. Hedino. Assad. Bellamy, chased by Elzo, Assad, and off the line by Edino, the captain and sweeper. This is a race for Muller, but the race is won by Gendus, as Algeria grow by the minute in stature and confidence. Megharia. Bellamy, what a difference he's made to that side today. Majari, Bellamy left short for him. Edinho there with the saviour of Brazil. Here's Socrates to free Muller on the right. Two terrific chances to Algeria in the second half. Neither of which goalkeeper Carlos knew much about. One he actually saved with his leg. The other was taken off the line by his skipper. 17 minutes gone then. And as events are beginning to transpire, it looks as though the injury early on to Edson could have been the turning point as far as Brazilian rhythm is concerned. Because they had to take their running midfielder out to fill that spot, and since then, they have laboured. You ask the question, where has Junior gone? Where has Falcão gone? But the answer to Socrates is, here he is. Miller to Careca. Algeria thinking about a sub. Ben Saula is getting ready. Menad did not play against Northern Ireland. Kasi Saeed, Ben Mabrook and Assad. Branco. Careca. That's looking for Muller. 
He's got a lot of pace, this young man. Just 20 years old. Looking for Socrates, but the pass was not good. And away goes Algeria on the break. Michael Ria to Assad. Across to Machir. Can they snatch the lead? Good, clean, honest tackle by Adino. Kareka. Pushed off the ball by Cassie Saeed, but no free kick. Bellamy. Assad, one of the fastest players on the field. And a goal kick to Brazil. As things are shaping at the moment, if you did not know the personnel and you switched the jerseys, you'd swear Algeria was Brazil. They're knocking the ball about in the fashion that Brazil have made famous, or rather Brazilian teams of the past. Alamon to Müller. He to Socrates. Takes out Branco. To Socrates, to Branco. And whatever bit of luck Reid had, he deserved it. Hit the wood. Good effort. Lovely pass by Socrates for Branco. Brazil have renewed encouragement now with Alamon. Socrates. Cassie Saeed. Socrates again. Looking for a free kick. Algeria hit back with Assad. But optimism got the better of him then. Here's Branco. No support. He's got to try a long cross field ball. It's with Alamont. Miller. Drilling in the cross. And it's in. Calrica. Here it is again. The missed kick by the sweeper. Najani couldn't get back. Kareka was alive and alert, it's 1-0. Dreadful error for the skipper, Gendus. Bad luck, Algeria, very bad luck, Algeria, clearly against the run of play, but a goal is a goal is a goal. Yes, Jim, it's what the game's needed, and I didn't expect it to come at that end. Uh, Algeria have had two great chances, and they've been very unfortunate. But uh, the game has needed a goal. It's there now. Now let's see if the Brazilians go on and stamp, and let's see if the Algerians can hold their discipline. Assad is coming off the Algerian team, and Venezuela is coming in. He plays with La Havre in France, the number 12. Ben Sola. Kasi Saeed. Bellume. Junior. And then goes Magari. Well, that was really tough luck on Gendus who today has been a very good sweeper for them. But the crucial error has put Brazil in front at a time when they were been certainly outplayed on the overall trend. Here's Muller releasing Alamon. Alamon's cross and great comes for it. A goalkeeper who deserved a bit better fortune than that goal. Falcon to Junior. Julio Cesar, Alamon, Carreca leads for Socrates, Alamon, 
Miller. Flag is up. The flag is up on the far side. It will be a free kick to Algeria. I think it's probably the most sporting game I've seen in all of the World Cups, going way back to 66 in England. Ben Mabrook. Cassie Saeed. Nigeria with a goal down against Northern Ireland came back. Can they do it one more time? Najadi, who did not react on that goal chance as quickly as the striker. And that's the goal that separates the sides. Oh, lovely flick on by Menard. Ben Mabrook. Ben Sola. Junior's interception. Now Socrates. Branco, Muller on the right, and tactically he's made a huge difference. It's changed Brazil's style of play. To Falcon, Alamon, three await in the area. One of them is Branco wide, and it will be a throw to Brazil. 20 minutes left, Algeria nil, Brazil one. Goal scorer Kareka. That's this man. Elzo and Nadja. Looks like obstruction by Elzo. Uh, I think that's poetic justice. It's a throw into Algeria. Or is he giving a free kick? Giving the free kick to Brazil. Now, how's this for a record? 45 minutes first half, 26 minutes second half, and Brazil have conceded three free kicks in the entire match and one of those was for offside junior to socrates to falcon away goes alamon on the right he's unmarked and not picked up waiting in the middle is junior muller careca beautifully knocked down there by bellamy when algeria needed it most Ben Solar trying to come away, Cassie Saeed, Branco, Care Careca, Socrates, Junior, Great can't hold it, Branco, it's a goal kick, and as Cassie Saeed looks for attention from the bench, it's a time to go to Ray Tracy and say, has the introduction of 20-year-old Miller made all that much difference to Brazil? It's made a difference. He's improved them at the front. He's given them greater pace. But it, it hasn't made a difference to the game as such. Uh, let's, not, let's not look at any other way apart from the fact that the Algerians were very, very unlucky to lose that goal. The goal is what's really changed the complexion of the game. Cassie Saeed is all right again, limping a little, but reporting safely back for duty. The man just you caught a glimpse of there, bottom of your picture, Zidana, the man who scored the goal against Northern Ireland, getting ready for Algeria because Cassie Saeed is definitely limping. Elzo. Junior, some space ahead of him this time. Filled by Kareka. Good play by Gendus, and then he loses out. Kareka, Junior. Gendus with the block. Now Elzo. What a difference the goals made to Brazilian confidence. Falcao.
Falcom needed a touch too many. But with the cushion of the goal, Brazil, nervous and afraid, are beginning to express themselves just a little more like we might have expected. Here's Bellumi. Ben Sola. Bellumi. Magier. Ben Sola. Julio Cesar knocking it away. Magaria. Ben Mabrook. Magier. Since uh, Assad went off, they're missing the width and the pace. Here's Cassie Saeed. Bellumi. Menad. Te rather telegraphed it all. And Adino for Brazil. To Socrates. On his right, Muller. On his left, Kareka. Pushed off the ball by Gendos. The referee turns a blind eye. How much was it a dive and how much was it a push is now academic. Brazil lead 1 to 0. Quarter of an hour to go. Falcon. Careca. Socrates. Dino to Branco. Perhaps the most impressive left back in the competition, Branco. To Junior. Careca. Magaria for Algeria. Bellumi, Madger, Elzo's tackle to Kareka. Muller breaks on the right. Elzo's in the box. Here's Elzo! Drain for Algeria. Bellumi, Madger, Bellumi again. The brilliant Branco to Socrates. Kareka, Socrates, handball, handball, hardly a serious offence, Brazil's only fourth free conceded in the match. One handball, one offside and two tackles. Junior, Kareka. Falco, Careca, was close, oh that was close, and quite frankly I don't think Dred was expecting it from Careca, just watch it again, and what's more I don't think he'd have got it either, had it nicked inside that post, 12 minutes to go, If Brazil tactically missed Edson, Algeria are sure missing Assad. Nearly time for Zidane to come in. Gendus. Magharia, Menad, Bellumi, Branco, Falco, Junior, Alamon, just 
diagonally behind him is Junior. Square of Junior is Elzo. Wide left is Branco and covered. Now Alamon. Chance on here for an accurate cross. It was Muller who was in with the Algerian goalkeeper. Julio says our strides out and makes it his. Dino to Socrates. Alamon. Muller. And now the substitution. Bellomi is coming off. The man who's been troubled for so long with broken legs twice last year can give no more. So Danny, who scored against Northern Ireland, comes in. Ten minutes to go. Can Algeria do it? Not the way things are going at the present moment, Jim. The game has died a little bit now, and it, it needs another goal to pick it up again. Um, I can't see Algeria getting that goal. Uh, Brazil are getting there, but they're getting there by the skin of their teeth. Uh, my confident prediction on the World Cup was whoever beat Brazil and for one minute there in the second half I was beginning to look very very stupid because Algeria won't win it either Here's Junior for Brazil Miller with Socrates just not pulling it back enough Zidane he plays with Wojciechowski in Belgium. Here's Edino. Junior. Socrates. Uh, Falcao to Miller. Socrates goes outside him. Madrid. The Algerian defense in a stutter then. Socrates stays down injured and look at it again he got nicked on the shin as he made the cross and Socrates stays off the pitch but he's up and running again no theatricals from the footballing doctor Bellamy, the main playmaker gone, and Assad, the flying winger gone, and Algeria lost heart. Here's Ben Saula. Julio Cesar, Falca, Junior. Falca, good play in the middle of the field by Brazil. Careca, number nine. Good chest control by Junior. Miller moves forward, it's flagged offside. Must be tight that. <laughs> Majadi Ben Sahula Zidane. Najari, Algeria. Julio Cesar. Ben Saula. Elzo's tackle. Socrates on the ball. Number nine, Careca. Elzo. Alamon, thinking of a shot. Korea Mansouri Ben Mabrook Ben Sola Ben Mabrook Menad swept away by Branco
If the players are beginning to feel tired, there's one thing that must be said. We were saying at halftime that the temperature here at Fahrenheit was about 93 degrees. Socrates for Brazil. Elzo, chances on, lovely dummy. Dredd saves it, and with the help of Gendus, Algeria, keep it to 1-0. Lovely dummy by Elzo to make himself the shooting chance. There's that shadow of the loudspeakers almost on the centre spot now. Socrates, Careca. Algeria again. Macaria had a kick at Kareka as he passed him. The referee sensibly played the advantage and a left hand scoop away. Brazil had a dodgy spell, but they're on top now for sure. Offside Muller. The young winger is just not quite able to judge that. 20-year-old Miller as we watch Majer for Algeria. Cassie Said. Majadi. Julio Cesar. And the big man's gone forward to help Miller. Now he reckons attacking is not his game. So he leaves it to Socrates, he to Falcao. Falcao to the attacking Branco. Branco, Careca, Careca, Falcao. Falcao to Edino. And it looks as though, as far as Brazil are concerned, it's what they have, they hold. One nil ahead, let's take no chances. Junior. Socrates. Elzo. Trying the narrow angle on Dredd. And a corner kick to Brazil. This man has made a big difference in the last half an hour. Elzo. Sixth corner of the game for Brazil. Socrates has come over to the corner flag for the short one. Here's Socrates' cross. Edino will leave it run to Branco. Dino again. No foul. Well, maybe there was a foul, but no free, one should say. Majer on the run, stopped by Elzo. Zedane. Alamon. Good penetration by the fullback. And an equally good tackle to match it by Mike Haria. To Menad. Two minutes left. Major. Zedani is behind Julio Cesar. And the big centre back does his business again. Ben Mabrook. Zedani. Covering player is Alamon. Socrates to Falco. To Careca. The World Cup favourites have got themselves a hard game today. Falcon to Müller. A little cross for Careca. And the interception by Macaria. Ben Saula. Ever since I sad departed the scene, there hasn't been one single piece of penetration from Algeria.
Hassi Saeed. Algeria looks spent as the game enters its last minute. Yeah, the game is dying on its feet now. Uh, Brazil have got the points. They're not going to lose them. They've retain, maintained their 100% record. Uh, they, they're not going to run it out in this oppressive heat. So the Sambas can keep going tonight. That's for sure. And you can say all night because these people never seem to go to bed to support Brazil. Here's Careca. Can this be the insurance goal? It's Gendouz who heads it away. In the last minute, Zidane. This has got to be Algeria's last throw. Zidane on a long run, but where's he going? Even more important, where's the support? Cassie Saeed. Ben Mabrook is pulled wide on the left. Well, it's quite a contrast with Brazil in 1970, but they adorned this place with magic goals. This time, the bare minimum in each of their games, but they get the same return. Though hardly the same admiration. 45 minutes gone in the second half as Brazil take it away, and Miller is onside this time. Careca makes a terrific run towards the penalty spot, and Miller was at two minds and didn't pick the right one. It's all over in the Jalisco Stadium in Guadalajara. Valina Mendez has called full time. A quick comment from Ray Tracy. Well, it was a, not a great game, but the result is there for the Brazilians. The one uh, thing I think is that Algeria can make it very, very difficult for Spain in the next match. There it is, only one goal in the game, scored 21 minutes into the second half by Correca. A defensive error, but it's worth two points to Brazil, who conceded only seven free kicks in the entire match. Three for offside, one for hands. I don't have any records of that sort, but I'm sure somewhere along the line it's got to be a World Cup record for fair play. From the Jalisco Stadium in Guadalajara, farewell. OK, um... This is uh, one of the linesmen, Alex Bonnet. For what is their 600th international, Hungary makes several changes from their 599th. To some extent, forced 